Welcome to part three of this uh, this series of tutorial to create a coach. Now we just need to create this piece, this big piece right here for the bag. Let's start with this one. Let's go to front view and let's add mesh and cube it's big, make it small with S, scale it, key and take it and put it right here maybe. And let's uh, tap to the edit mode and switch to the wireframe grab these vertices g and move them let's add one right here and this one g and just put maybe this right here and let's take it uh, sorry i need to push this right there and this one g and take it up maybe right here let's see the results let's push this back g and take this one right here and the same thing here Let's put this right here. Let's move them. Maybe I need to move them down. All right, now when you complete, tap to the object mode. And let's rotate this one. Hit R and rotate. But as you see, the origin, the point origin is here. I need to change that. It's very easy. Right click, set origin, origin to geometry and now it's jumped here in the middle so R to rotate it just align it with this piece hit G and move it and let's put this one right here I need to rotate it more a bit like that key and move it and put it right here in this area it's okay if any penetration happens here you can hit G and take it up let's take it up and let's select this face right here this one let's go to solid tap to the edit mode grab this face hit number three and let's move it to the normal so I gonna hit G Z and again hit Z to move it to the local axis of Z and take it up a bit maybe right here let's see the result here no that's too much G Z is Z again and take it down a bit all right now after that let's um, add uh, Let's add, uh, let's subdivide this piece. Let's add edges here, control R, and let's add several edges right here. And the same thing on this side, control R, and let's add edges. Just make sure to make it square. And maybe on this side, control R, and let's add a couple of edges right here. All right, that's cool. Let's say grab this edge. Sorry, hold control, grab this one, and just move it a bit right here G and just move it to make it to make a very small curve here just like that the same thing on this side let's see where is it if you want to isolate isolate it hit slash and let's select this edge hold control and grab this one and just have nice view and G and just move it to make a curve just like that the same thing on this side and on that and and on this side right here Let's grab this one, rotate it a bit, key, make a curve here, and the same thing here, grab this one. All right, so that's all work, that's nice. All right, now after that, let's add subdivision surface, hit tab to the object mode, and let's go to modifier properties. Let's open the list and let's add a subdivision surface. And now it's subdivided. When you combine it, you can apply it. I don't need it. Now, after that, let's select some vertices here. Let's go to the side view, maybe, and tap to the edit mode, AZ, and go to wireframe. And let's change this selection to maybe select lasso. And let's select this, this group. Let's deselect these from here. Hold control on this, select them. The same thing here. All right, now it's nice. After that, I need to grow the selection. So hit control plus, and again, control plus right here. And I think that's gonna work. All right, when you complete, switch to the vertex, hit number one. 
and let's go to the object data properties and let's add a vertex group here and let's assign it you can change the name if you want tap to the object mode and let's add shade smooth right here and let's add a close cloth uh, modifier and there we go let's first go to the shape and let's use the group that we created vert vertex group to bend these vertices and not move them and let's go to pressure and let's increase this to 10 for now and when you complete just hit play hit space to play the animation and let's see what we got all right now we have something here but it is not right let's take this back to zero and let's increase this from 10 to 50 maybe and again let's hit play hit space all right now we have something here let's take this more to maybe 100 now it's very strong Oh, right, that's cool maybe all right so now we just have a care very subtle care right here when you complete you can uh let's see what we can do here let's hit ctrl a and apply visual geometry to mesh and let's go to the vertex and let's delete this one vertex group we don't need it and let's add another cloth modifier sorry don't forget to take this back to zero and let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> I think I need to bend this area just from the back. So before I add anything here, let's tap to the edit mode, select this piece, tap to the edit mode, and let's shrink the selection control minus a couple times. Maybe right here, because I need just to bend this area. And let's bend this one, create another vertex group and assign it. And now tap to the object mode and let's go back to the cloth and let's pin this new group and let's use the pressure and let's take the gravity back to zero, open the field weight and that's it. Just add maybe 60 and let's hit play, let's see the result here. And now we have this one. Let's see what we got so far. All right, so that's cool. That looks nice. Almost. All right, I'm going to accept this result. So just control A and apply visual geometry to mesh. And this results, let's see what we can do for it. Let's see the subdivision before we do anything. All right, that's nice. Let's go to sculpt mode and let's let's uh, do some sculpting here. Hit F to make the price smaller, and let's let's make some variation here, maybe here. And as you see, the wrinkles are very big. We need to subdivide this one, but I don't need to subdivide everything here. I just need to subdivide a specific area here. Let's tap to the edit mode and let's see what we can do here. With these vertices selected, I gonna press Control I to invert the selection. And now we have this, this side selected. I gonna press Control plus to grow the selection for here and right click and use subdivide and now we just subdivided this area not this one now it is high resolution here now let's tap to the uh to the object mode and because we are in the sculpt mode now we see these brushes and let's let's make some variation here Let's go here and let's make some variation in this area. Maybe I need to manipulate the setting here. Maybe I need to change this to plane. Let's see that. Let's see the difference. 
but now maybe that's gonna be better. Or right, that's not exactly what I want. Hit Control Z and let's tweak this to radial. Maybe let's take these. From this side, the same thing. Alright, when you complete, let's go back to use this this surprise again and change change it to smooth and just click and drag until you be satisfied with the results. Now the the effect is subtle here and it's nice. You can use the grab brush and make some variation here. Hit F. Alright, so this is nice result here. Let's hit slash and let's excite off the local mode. And now we got something nice here. Let's edit this further. Maybe I need to tweak and uh, let's use the grab brush maybe I need to take this down. Or maybe I need to take the whole geometry down. Let's go to side view and let's uh, go back to Object mode, hit key, and just move it down. Maybe right here, and let's see the result that we got. All right, so this nice result here we got. All right, I need to duplicate this piece to the other side. Shift D and take a Kobe right here. And that's nice. And don't forget to make a variation. So let's go to Sculpt, Sculpt mode, and let's use the this brush. Hit F, make it smaller. And let's make some variation here. And here on this side. All right, that's cool. Now when you come beneath, I think I need to hit this one, Alt Shift and smooth it. Let's use this brush, click and drag to make the effect subtle. And there we go. Let's use the grab brush to make some variation, make it big. Let's grab and move some vertices here. Or that's nice. All right, let's select this piece. 
All right, now let's see the reference image. We have some wrinkles in the middle. We can do that. Let's make this small. Let's make some variation here, very subtle. Let's jump to this piece. Save this one. Let's go to sculpt mode. That's too much. Something like that. Very subtle effect. Let's hit Hold Shift and let's smooth this result a bit. Alright, that's. I think that's gonna work. Let's use the grab brush and let's manipulate this a bit. Okay, that's nice. All right, now after that, let's go back to the object mode and let's isolate this to the first piece and let's tap and let's select. We have these edges, let's select them. This one, just the edges in the corner. The same thing on this side. Or maybe I need to ignore the side because we just subdivide it and here we have some variation. You can grab this if you want, this edge, the entire edge loop, that's gonna work too. So let's do that. So let's grab this edge, this one, and let's deselect this one right here. That's cool. From this side, the same thing. That's nice. When you complete, just hit Shift D to duplicate the seam and PS to separate it. Tap to the edit mode, grab the seam alone and go to object, convert and convert curve from mesh. And there we go. Now let's go here and let's go to geometry from the depth 0 0.08, hit enter. Or oh, sorry, you can add point Point eight. I think that's too much. Right click shade smooth. Yeah, that's that's nice for me. For me, that's gonna work. Alright, let's hit slash and let's select this piece. By the way, you can select this one and tap to the edit mode. And you, you can add seams here to to uh, prepare it for unwrapping. But I'm going to do that later. Let's select this piece. Now let's tap to the edit mode, grab these edges. From this side, the same thing. And from this side. That's cool. And this one right here, the corner. And from here, you can grab this entire edge loop and deselect this one. Let's change this one to select box. Let's deselect this one and deselect this one right here. And deselect this. And now you can create, uh, uh, change this to seam. Or you can, uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna duplicate this one. I'm gonna duplicate this piece, Shift D. 
and then PS to separate it and tap to the object mode grab this alone and let's go to object convert to curve now it's converted it's very easy just go to bevel here we have the geometry and just add here in the depth 0.8 and there we go just change it to head smooth and now let's select this piece and isolate it again tap to the edit mode and let's select the same edges that we created just these in the front and hit right click and convert them to seam or mark seam the same thing for this piece this one selected isolated tab to the edit mode with these selected just convert them to seam let's select this one sorry and this and maybe this one in the corner that's right, right click, mark seam. That's it. Alright, so I'm gonna end this tutorial and I will see you in the next one.